Just turn it on. Yeah, no, we're good. All right, we're ready. We're going to start now. We're starting the show. All right. <laughs> are, you, are you sitting comfortably, everyone? Right. Uh. Hello. <laughs> Do you remember these two Scottish girls that were here on Wednesday? <laughs> they're back. <laughs> and they're wearing the same outfits. <laughs> Go and check them out. <laughs> All right. So, ladies, you were here on Wednesday and we sent you to a swanky hotel, no, restaurant, a swanky restaurant. <laughs> Perhaps you took yourself to a swanky hotel, I don't know. So, we sent you to a swanky restaurant, Café La Bohème. How was it? Amazing. Really good, yeah. So good. See? <laughs> Scottish people are awesome at lying! <laughs> No, no, no. Uh, of course it was. It's a great restaurant. I've been there myself. Uh, <laughs> so, you're from Perth in Scotland, eh? Yep. yep. All right. Where are you planning to visit in the United States while um, you're here? Here in New York. That's it? Yeah. What about the interesting bit in the middle? <laughs> we're working our way home, so... Kind you're of working your way home? Yeah. Going home, Going home next week. Oh, yeah. I see. And this work you're doing... <laughs> <laughs> I think you better leave town tonight. Uh, well, that's all right. I did a little bit of that kind of work myself when I first got here. Um, right, well, uh, so what, what do you do in Scotland? Uh, we work in a supermarket. In a supermarket? Yeah. Whoa. I know. Yeah? No, that's good. No, it's not. <laughs> It's, just it's got super in the name, supermarket. <laughs> what do you do? You, you do the oh. problem in aisle three, that one? <laughs> no. what, what? Uh, stock controller. Oh, out. stock control. Yeah. Oh, well, so you're, you know, you're professional. No. No. <laughs> no, no. Well, not. what would you like to do? I don't know. That's why we're traveling. Well, may I suggest talk show? <laughs> when, when, when you don't have any idea what you want to do with your life, do one of these? Talk show. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you know, fills a gap. Oh, well, yeah. Think You're going to have to talk, though. That's the thing. <laughs> oh, you must be nervous. Yeah. Americans are very friendly, don't you find? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I know, you see. They don't think they are. That's the weirdest thing. They're like, oh, oh you Scotland, know. Scotland, are. Yeah, and then they, they go to Scotland, they go, oh, the people were so friendly. Like, not no, to other Scottish no. people, they're not. <laughs> Until you meet them in a different country. Didn't get a word of that. <laughs> <laughs> We've had that for three oh, months. Yeah, yeah, I know, I know. I get it all the time. I, uh, <laughs> do I sound very American now? Mm, yeah, a little bit. bit. Yeah, 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 yeah I know. Yeah. Uh, sorry. Yeah. Yeah. Sorry. Okay. Yeah. Hmm? It's okay. You need to keep the twang. Keep the twang? Yeah. Get it sorted. Didn't get a word of that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Anyway, we're going to send you to another swanky restaurant. Where do we send you this time? Sewer! Oh, sewer! Have you ever seen uh, Real Housewives of Beverly Hills? Oh, well, good, because Sewer is owned by Lisa Vanderpump, who's one of the housewives in it, and she's, like, fabulous. And her name sounds like a penis enlargement device. Oh, God. Oh. So looking forward I can to still make Scottish girls laugh. <laughs> with Craig Ferguson, sponsored by Advil, the pain reliever that's built to be as fast as it is strong. Ladies and gentlemen, Craig Ferguson.
see you. All right, let's fight. Uh, great day for America, everybody. Yes, we do. It is a very, uh, it's my, I've been looking forward, if you know anything about me, uh, you know this is the day I've been looking forward to all week. It's the, the big movie today is Godzilla. D is there a picture of the poster? Yeah, look at that. That's all. Look at that. Wow. And you know, that's him attacking San Francisco. Gar. But, uh, <laughs> Gar. I hate all of this. It's all, it's all going to have to change. <laughs> It's not CGI in, in Godzilla. What they did is they, they, the cities that Godzilla was attacking, they actually made actual models. And the model of San Francisco was incredibly detailed, right down to little vending machines selling little tiny sex toys and little, uh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> little, little, tiny, little tiny parades going up and down. Oh, yeah, yeah. What else would they have? Yeah, little, you know, sexy dudes holding hands. <laughs> That's what I like. That's what I like. Anyway, yeah. apparently in the movie, Godzilla attacks Seattle first. But marijuana is legal in Washington State now, so the people don't flee in terror. They're not like, ah, they're like, whoa. <laughs> wow. <laughs> now, in the original movies, Godzilla always uh, went after Tokyo. But today, Godzilla is such a revered hero that the city of Tokyo actually has a statue of him. A city having a statue of the very thing that destroyed it. <laughs> that would be like, that would be like the LA Clippers having a statue of Donald Sterling. That would be... Yeah. Yeah. Oh, hey, hey! Yeah. Oh. Boo, boo. What? What are you doing? Hell, man. What are you doing? Hey, shut up! Wednesday night's audience would have loved that. Yeah. The, uh, the, uh, that would be like, what would else it be like? A city of Donald Sterling Clippers. What else would that it be like? It'd be like uh, the Clinton Library having a statue of a cigar. Yeah, all right, yeah. <laughs> that would be like Blockbuster having a statue of Netflix. Ooh. <laughs> be like, uh, oh, or like, like Conan having a statue of Jay Leno. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, me out. What the hell? Yeah. Me out. Yeah. It'd be, it'd be like Oprah having a statue of Dr. Phil. <laughs> Not enough. Do you know who's in this movie, though, apart from Godzilla, is uh, Elizabeth Olsen, who is the sister of the Olsen twins. She's not a twin, she's just an Olsen single. But she's... But she, she's and also, she's used to being around weird, scary creatures. <laughs> Come on, that was quite erotic, wasn't it? <laughs> anyway, in the film, uh, the, which is, uh, you know, it'll be a success. I'm sure it'll be. And Godzilla will be getting more work in other shows. You'll see him in the next season of Downton Abbey or something like that. <laughs> I say, Godzilla, bring the car around, would you? Oh, you've crushed it. No, I'm, I'm terribly sorry. I'm terribly sorry about that. I, I didn't know you were a member of the lower orders, Godzilla. Yes, 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 yes. I'm, I'm, I'm sorry, sorry, sir. Sorry about that. <laughs> I quite like that, actually. Oh, oh dear, I've done it again. I've done oh, it again. Oh, no, I'm don't sorry. worry. Oh, look at my model of San Francisco. You've completely wrecked it, Godzilla. Oh, dear, I'm sorry. My breath is so hot. I'm sorry. Oh, dear, oh, dear. I'm sorry. Do you know there's been 28 Godzilla movies? There's Godzilla, Son of Godzilla, Godzilla vs. Mothra, Two God, Two Godzilla. <laughs> uh, Godzilla vs. Tyler Perry. Are, are you there? Godzilla is me, Margaret. And many more. And, <laughs> What's interesting is that in the movies, Godzilla is sometimes male and sometimes female. <laughs> kind of freaks me out a little bit, that. Yet, at the same time, I'm kind of curious and want to know more. <laughs> nah, wait, I was thinking about uh, that night in Bangkok. You remember that oh, night? Yeah. Right? yeah, oh yeah, yeah. We wrecked that city. <laughs> anyway, the, uh, uh, I love the old campy Godzilla movies. You know, the Godzilla was just a man in a rubber suit. I mean, nowadays, in a man in a case in a rubber suit, what's that called, Jeff? That's uh, Bruce Jenner. Bruce Jenner, yeah. <laughs> and... <laughs> I learned my lesson. Get the robot to do all the bitchy jokes. <laughs> Set him up with a bitchy joke, and then have the robot do it. Then everybody goes, Craig's a decent human being, but that robot's a bitchy bitch bitch. <laughs>
What were you What were you saying over there? What nothing, man. That? Nothing. I just uh, carry on with your excellent humor, which is entertaining the masses. He has no idea <laughs> that I'm setting him up for ridicule. <laughs> Just Why a quick, uh, no, just doing a Shakespearean like aside. Don't worry, oh, okay. you could never hear. All right, all right. You could never do a Shakespearean aside, no, no, could no, you? No, I couldn't. What Craig doesn't realize <laughs> is that I'm taking over the show after him. <laughs> <laughs> what? What? Hang on, what? hang on. Thanks, what? what Jeff doesn't realize is that he's going to be unplugged the day I finish. <laughs> What you at home don't realize is that Craig has been plugged in the entire time. <laughs> hey, man. Hey, how you doing? Hey, what's hey, up, buddy? Hey, good to see you, man. Friend. Feeling good, yeah. You're yep. my buddy. Yep. Right. <laughs> Commercial break? Sure, why not? Because they hid the remote in the nursing home activity center, you're still watching The Late Late Show. Nostalgic for a home and being young. <laughs> well, you're young. You're a youthful guy. You still got your. You still got your looks. Steady, man. You're going. Uh, next thing you're going to say is I'm spry. <laughs> I, I wouldn't go that far. I wouldn't go that far. <laughs> what age are you? Me, I'm uh, 168. <laughs> the hell? <laughs> it's not a whoop. You don't whoop for that. Yeah, I don't know. People whoop, whoop for anything these days. <laughs> yeah, they will. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Hello? Hey, it's, uh, Godzilla. <laughs> hey, Godzilla. Hey, how are you? You look great. I saw you wearing, wearing your Friday tires here. But, uh, Godzilla, you sound a bit like you're some kind of weird French cockney. Yeah, yeah. Well, that's the bit that we did earlier in the program at the top of the show, if you remember that. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's Yeah, right, we did yeah. something in there, yeah. Yeah, yeah, but you weren't involved in that. You're calling in from... Yes, I'm calling in from uh, Tokyo. Tokyo. Oh, is that where you live? Yeah, I live under the ocean, hanging out with my friends. Anyway, just uh, love your show, man. Funny stuff. <laughs> oh, boy. This is Miriam. You and... know it is. You know yeah, it is. Yeah, it's you, it's you. Uh, I'll, kill you. I'll kill you. You sick, twisted individual. I'll find you. I'm still here. What time is it, Jeffrey Peterson? It's tweet mail time. Time to take advice from a man who wears a green rubber suit on weekends and destroys the dance floor. <laughs> Play the jingle, would you? This is uh, from Betty in Radnor Township in uh, Philadelphia. Oh, is that right? Betty. That's nice. Pennsylvania. Betty. Sure, sure. I've been there. All right, whatever. Yeah, you've been there. Says, uh, Craig, I have a tweet mail. I have a tweet mail. Oh, she's got a I, I suspect uh, Betty's probably not in the first flush of youth. No. <laughs> Craig, I have a tweet mail. <laughs> Who does Jeff's mohawk, and would he ever dry it oink? <laughs> You know, oddly, I understood all of that. Dry it oink. Dry it what do you oink. think she meant by Dry that? Dry it oink. Dry it oink. If you know what she meant by that, write it down on a piece of paper, put it in a self-addressed envelope, and send it to someone, at, but not me. No. This is from Dorothy in Little Rock, Arkansas. You ever been there? Ah, uh, Dorothy, yes. <laughs> yeah, yeah, man. Dorothy? Is it the same Dorothy in Little Rock? Yeah, it's the same one. The, the one at the Clinton Library? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> With the... Oh. <laughs> oh, oh, oh! 
Oh, Craig, you implied sex. Oh, come on now. Come on now, Craig. That's too much. That's too much. You can't be doing that. Not on a late night talk show. You shouldn't be doing that. You'll be getting phone calls from other late night talk shows. Oh, God. Hello? Yeah, it's uh, Jay Leno. How you doing, Mary? Uh, 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 I saw you, you made some dirty jokes there. That's pretty, uh, pretty dark stuff there. Uh, 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 oh, is that Jay Leno fly? Is that Jay Leno fly again? Yeah. <laughs> I'll, I'll be back in eight months. <laughs> I think he flew away, man. All right, all right. Yeah, I don't know what the hell you're looking for. Yeah, 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 all right. Uh, Dorothy Little Rock says, uh, Craig, how come nobody ever calls you selling you crap? That's the only kind of call that I get. Well, well. Selling you crap? Yeah. yeah. Hello. Hey, how you doing? I'd like to sell you some crap. <laughs> This is from Alicia in Swarthmore in uh, Pennsylvania, who says, Craig, what is your favorite kind of pie? Ooh, I like a, I, I see, now this is where I'm gonna upset a lot of people. I like a meaty pie. Yeah. <laughs> Ooh, oh, 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 o
you look great. Thanks. I mean, uh, wow. Thanks. I wore this just for you. Thank so you. So I could match your mug. That It's a snake brace yeah. hand. What is that, a hand bracelet? A, it's uh, a really classy handcuff. <laughs> Should we get a safety word going? How about rattle? Okay. Okay. How are you? You look great. Oh, are you great. Mean, are you working out or something? Uh, well, you know, I tackle large men for a living now. <laughs> um, let me rephrase that. I play a police officer for a living now, so I run more than I used to, which was never because I loathe running. Yeah, yeah, it's uh, hard. I, I do it, but I don't enjoy it. I didn't ever do it, and now I'm forced to. Yeah. Did you go for a ride along before you started playing a cop? Did you go on a ride, like, ride along, you know, ride along? I, yeah. We, uh, we did a lot of tactical training with the intelligence unit, with the SWAT team. Really? We did some things that I'm not allowed to talk about, which were awesome. I've got, I t I've done a ton of things I'm not allowed to talk about. I've heard. You talked about a lot of them in your book, though. Which and one? I've written a couple of books. What book are we talking about? The, the bio well, you really went there in American on purpose. Oh, yeah, yeah. I, you read my, my... Oh, you read that? <laughs> Obviously. Yeah, yeah. And well. I read it before you even gave me a free copy in the dressing room. Right, yeah. That's... You're not allowed to talk about that. <laughs> you should write a book. Have you written a book? I have not written a book. It's but about time. My best friend just wrote a book uh, about her nonprofit. That doesn't, that doesn't and I mean that you. Forward. Oh, right, okay. So I was going to say my friend wrote a book. I'm like, well, that's not you writing yeah. if I got that. No, I didn't write the book. I just wrote the forward. Oh, you to wrote the, the forward to the book? Yes. Oh, wh I what did. did you say? Nice things about your friend? I said lovely things about her and about women in general, how we should all be friends. Yeah, good luck with that. Bitches. Yeah. <laughs> Look, women women can be, you know, catty and awful, but we're also really awesome. Yeah, same as men. You know, some men, men should all be friends too, but they're not. They're douchebags and <laughs> and and women should all be friends too, but they're not. You know, I don't know what it is. They're just I think it's a certain element in both sexes that ruin it for everyone. I think there's men and there's women and then there's just I got on that. And Indeed. and it doesn't matter what sex they are, they just ruin it for everybody with their uh, <laughs> ego. Is it ego? Is that what ruins it, you think? I think it's fear. Both, actually. Yeah, I think people behave out of fear. Because when you're afraid, you behave from this really negative ego space. Mm. And you're French fries! And we're right back to where we started. <laughs> and we're swearing on TV. Hey! What's that on your finger? You're really going there with the jewelry hey. right now. It's like an Indian wedding Anything thing. Anything that's a bit of armor or assists me in really nicely being able to punch someone in the face, hey. I like. Hey. I want to not just break your nose, I want to leave an indention so you remember me. You break my nose, I'll remember you. <laughs> oh, it's nice. What else have you been up to? You been on vacation or anything? I haven't seen you in an age. Yeah, yeah. Where have you been? Uh, I have been. I was just in New York, and before that, I took a trip for three weeks through the Middle East. I was in Israel, Jordan, wow. and I went to Turkey. Wow. I've been to Turkey. I've never been to any of the other places. Did Amazing. you? Yeah? Yeah. We, we, it's a little turbulent in, uh, in is, you know, Jordan, I guess, is all right, isn't it? Right well, now? Jordan's a little turbulent just because there's such an overflow of refugees from Syria. Syria, right. In, in all the surrounding countries. And uh, that was part of the reason that I went to start figuring out how to use all the wonderful resources that, you know, we all have at hand and the great friends I have who run amazing humanitarian organizations and how do we make a difference and how do we make the right difference? You know, it's interesting. I, 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 get a lot, I hear a lot of actresses saying that. With you, though, it actually seems like it's true. Because I, I, you know, you seem to, you know, I mean, you actually go to these places and. Well, and I'm do not. What's the camera to go? You know, you're not. You're really not. And yeah, I, I can't tell you how refreshing that is. Thank you. Um, but all, uh, all, all kidding aside, yeah, for me, it's. I have a passion for people. Right. At the end of the day, and and since I was young, I've always wanted to figure out how we can all just be a little better to each other and you know now to have the opportunity like I did a few weeks ago to travel north almost to the Syrian border and sit outside a refugee camp that has a quarter of a million people in it and ha and spend a day with these families and hear about what they're facing what they're going through what it is they need um, the thing that always really impacts me the most is when you go into any sort of situation like that mm -hmm. the first bit of feedback you get is how grateful people are that anyone's listening. Yes, uh, yeah, because I think the, the, the terrifying thing is for a lot of people is to be forgotten. Mm -hmm. You know, to be left in, in, in danger and in, in, in difficulties and to be forgotten that no help is going to arrive. Yeah, and we, and we can't forget about people. There right. is no us and them. 
Do, are, you, are you from a... I mean, you seem very moral. Uh, I, shouldn't you be in a different business? <laughs> You know, I, I, I was 20 when I started working and maybe I fell into it by accident, but for me, the way I look at it is I'm passionate about my job because I get to tell stories. Yes. I want to tell authentic and interesting and And, and you get to go right along. You get to go on a ride along. I get to you go on a ride, ride along. along. Yeah. Uh, and, I, and I sort of, by happenstance, now have this wonderful digital megaphone through which I get to talk about things that are you going on. You have a digital well. megaphone? I do. It's called Twitter. Oh, Twitter. I was just talking about Twitter. Are you on the, uh, you, are you busy on the Tweety? Are you, yeah. Uh, uh, Tweety and I have a love affair. Never like ours, but it, you know, exists. Steady. Easy. We have to take a break. We'll be right back with Sophia Bush, everybody. Chicago. Shoot it in Chicago? Chicago. Yeah? Yeah. That's a great town. Welcome back, everybody. I'm here with Sophia Bush. We're talking about Chicago, right? There was Chicago PD. You make it in Chicago? We do. Oh, I like Chicago. Right out there, Lake Oprah, just sitting out there in the yeah. sunshine. It's nice. I know. I'm hoping the big secret behind your conscious, your conscious uncoupling is that you're going to come and move into Harpo and, you know. Do a show from Chicago? With us. I wish. Wouldn't yeah, that be fun? yeah, yeah. I'm yeah. coming out anytime. Yeah, well, that's one guest. <laughs> No, I, I love Chicago. In the winters, though, it's a little rough. Have you been there in the winter? Oh, yeah. Oh. Oh, yeah. We You're saying that like something kind of naughty happened. No. No, just something vile, like when it's 35 below and you're yeah. outside in a leather jacket because you're a cool cop. Yeah. I finally was like, I don't care how cool I'm supposed to look. If I don't get a parka, I'm going to fall over and die in the snow. Yeah, that's probably not going to work for the series. unless it's not they, a great idea. They'd have to write around it. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's like when they write around actresses that get pregnant. I love that. You see women who are just <laughs> st standing hey up guys. next to things. Hey, how you doing? It's great to be part of the dance troop one more time yeah yeah well there you are we're out of time that was it yeah why you disappointed i mean i don't really want to leave yet yeah well <laughs> that's all she wrote i'll uh i'll text you <laughs> <laughs> no you mean you know there's you know it's not you it's me it's a thing you know hmm. conscious conscious uncoupling yeah what does that mean <laughs> yeah. I don't know. No, I don't know either. Sounds nice. Nah, it sounds like, what's that coming to go? <laughs> Does it? What's that coming to go? Yeah. yeah, you don't? I can? Or I can't? I can't say, what's that coming to go? Really? Well, I, I might as well just say, ooh, rubbish then if I can't oh. say that. Can you believe I can't say that? I'm sorry. It's okay. What, what are you sorry for? Are you part of this? No, I just, I feel your pain. Oh, no, don't worry. Because be we fine. play Chicago Cops and we can't say okay. on the air and it's tough. <laughs> just did it. I don't know, there's something about Ooh. you saying it. It sounded a lot better than that. It sounded a lot better than it does when I say it. I disagree. You have the accent, which yeah. is all that us Americans care about. No, no, believe me. <laughs> That one landed right there. <laughs> Sophia Bush, everybody. We're right. best-selling author, her latest books, Confessions of a Wild Child and the Lucky Santangelo Cookbook, are... <laughs> a cookbook, Jackie! They're in stores now. I'll talk to her about it. Jackie Collins, everybody. Jackie Collins. Lovely. Greg Ferguson. It's lovely to see you. I didn't it's know you'd written a you cookbook. Too. I did. I wrote it specially for you. Did I thought you, really? you, you, you did look not. like you needed a little fattening up because you're getting too handsome. <laughs> oh, I think somebody is a little bit too Hollywood this evening. Oh. Hey, oh, um, 
yes. What, what is, is it based on what uh, it's Lucky based on my character, eats? Yeah, and, and I thought it would be fun to do illustrations of Lucky, little scenes between her and Lenny, and these fabulous recipes and great drinks. There's a, a drink there called the Jackie Collins, created by Wolfgang Puck. Really? Is yeah. it got alcohol in it? Uh, it has, but you could have a virgin. You've had a virgin, haven't you? <laughs> <laughs> I've never had a virgin Jackie Collins. <laughs> Yeah, I think that would be a bit difficult. <laughs> <laughs> a bit I don't know, no. A yeah. man can dream. Um, <laughs> hey, uh, do you know, yeah. remember you put me in that book. You said I was uh, based on a character that in your... Don Verona. Right. Yes. Well, well let me just... Uh, well, I'm just... Um, this is a surprise. Okay, I'm going to describe Don Verona to you. Don Verona was movie star handsome with jet black hair, dark eyes, rugged feature, and a trademark two-day stubble. He was an extremely this isn't me at successful. All. <laughs> it's him, isn't it, ladies? No. Yes. He was an extremely successful late night talk show Definitely host. Definitely not me. He, he was Letterman without the Midwest hang ups. He was Leno without the insults. And he was Craig Ferguson without the Scottish accent. Oh, uh -huh. ah, that's uh -huh. the clue. Yeah. Yes. All right. Yeah. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah, that's funny. Okay. But I, you know, I, I never knew. Yes. There was a mo an old movie of mine on cable the other day, and I stopped as I was going by. Right. And there was a scene, and I wrote the movie. Yes. And you mentioned in it, and I forgot to tell you this. Oh, that's There's a guy, in a, a guy in a book. He's reading yes. a book, and yeah. uh, and uh, someone says to him, "What are you reading?" And he says, "Kafka," and he says, "Oh, I'm reading a Jackie Collins at the moment." <laughs> and then. And then he says, it's a sh you know, a Jackie Collins would be better. You, know, you wouldn't get a giant bug in a Jackie Collins book. And then he describes, uh, you know, the Kafka story metamorphosis. Yes. But in the style of Jackie Collins. You know, his wiggly woggly arms held her tight and all that kind but of stuff. But you would get a giant something. You would get a giant something in a Jackie Collins book, for sure, yeah. Because you've got to have fun. You do like a, a, a racy bit of dialogue and, uh, and, and scene said. You do write some very good sex scenes, I have to say. Oh, thank you. You know, I've been doing it a long time. Time. So have I, but I can't write it. <laughs> you can talk. Your book was so filthy. Very filthy, and yeah. so literary. It was a great combination, literary and filth. Well, my theory is that women like to read their porn, whereas men like to see it. So if you can... <laughs> Like, men like to look at pictures and go, oh, but women like to think about it and go... No, no, no. Women like I, to see it, too. I mean, Do they? Do you want, oh, that's disappointing. Do you want gigolos? <laughs> <laughs> Do you want gigolos on television? I've seen bits of it on my yeah. friend Joel's show. He shows clips of it, but I've never I know, watched it's that. it's hilarious. Yeah, it's yeah. It's funny. I think women like to kind of laugh at porn. Because when you see graphic porn, it's always very angry. And you're thinking, well, nobody's having a good time, so what's the point of this? Right. Um... Okay, well, we can agree to differ, but that, <laughs> but the, but Do what? Do you watch a lot? I don't watch a lot of porn, actually. I kind of, I think sex to me is a little bit like, uh, is yes. like um, billiards. Uh, it's very, very boring to watch, but it's very fun to play. And you, you know, to, uh, and you try to get the ball in the pocket. And always try to get the ball in the pocket. Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> Good for you. Yeah. Friend. You know, it's just. Yes. Yeah. It's. It's a technique that I learned in Europe, and I feel that the ladies uh -huh. appreciate it. Uh -huh. I, uh, uh -huh. No, I, I do think it's erotica. Uh, it's, it's not really, you don't write erotica, you just write erotic scenes in stories. I though. write relationships. So I right, write you do, all yeah. All kind of people, you know, all colors, all sexual orientation, all ages. So there's something for everybody, and that's what I think it is. I mean, we live a life where we see everybody every day. I mean, you know, you walk out, and I, I try not to write closed books. I try to write books that are about everybody and they're fun and they're sexy and people can have a good time with them. Yeah, you're, you're a renowned beach author, aren't you? Like, people read your yeah. stuff in the beach. I think what happens is, you know, you have a couple of alcoholic beverages, lie in the sun <laughs> too hot, uh, toast yourself a bit, give yourself uh, liver damage and, uh, <laughs> and, and get, a bit, um, yes. get a bit randy. Oh, bit randy, yeah. love. Bit, bit randy. randy. Don't ooh. you think randy is a better word than horny? I love randy. Randy's yes. good. Randy's like, ooh, you know what I'm going to do? I'm so randy. Ooh, I'm randy. <laughs> and yes. horny sounds like, ooh. Yes. You're right. Yeah. You're absolutely right. Yeah. You know, I was in London recently and I met the Queen. Is she randy? I think she's randy. Well, if she read my book, she would be. Oh, <laughs> I, I, I feel guilty even discussing the possibility of Her Majesty the Queen <laughs> being randy. <laughs> She said to me, oh, Miss Collins, because I got the OBE. Oh, congratulations. Order I had no idea. Thank you. Lovely. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you.
That's wonderful. I know. So there I was in Buckingham Palace, and she says wow. to me, um, oh, Miss Collins, um, I understand you've written many books. And I go, yeah, not bad for a school dropout, huh? And she kind of laughed, and then she proffered her hand, and, and you have to back off. All right. You well, she goes like that, and you yes. have to go, like a dance-off? Yes. No, you're, you're not allowed to turn your back on her, so you have right. to kind of back off, hoping that you're not going to trip up and break your neck. Really? You're not allowed yeah. to turn your back on the Queen? What, will no. she knife you? No, I guess so. <laughs> Something like that. <laughs> Maybe if she'd read one of my books, she would. You know, when I was young, I was very anti-royal. I was when I was in, when I was into punk rock, and I was all, I all hated all, all of that. I want to see a picture of you when you were a punk rocker. Well, I've got one somewhere, but I mean that's not the point. What I was saying is that, that I was very, okay. and and what I have found as I get older is I yeah. rather like them. Yeah, they're rather interesting. Yeah, and also yeah. when you know you look at all the politicians and you think, well, I wouldn't like you to be on the currency. You're a bastard. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> But, uh, what do you think of young Harry and all his goings on? Oh, he's just a young. He's a yeah. he's a marine. He's been in combat. You know, yeah. he's uh, he's you know if he, if he wants to blow off a little steam, for God's sake, let him. I mean, I I got no problem with that. Yeah. I mean, it's not like he was. You know, I know actually uh, a couple of guys who have been over there with him. And and he does the job. You've got a secret smile. You know more than you I'm say. I'm impressed by that young man. He, yes. He doesn't. It's not a publicity thing. He does his thing. So if yeah. he wants to go and get naked and drunk in Vegas and some time off, that's what he's yeah. fighting for the right to do. Why not? Yeah. Yeah. I think so. Yeah. Right. I agree. Yeah. Yeah. Now. <laughs> Are you trying to, uh, for years, soldiers have been taking a break and when they get back home, nothing wrong with that. I have a lot of soldiers who write to me. They, oh, really? they, I bet you do. <laughs> so, yeah. I have a lot of people in Russia who write to me and prisons. I'm very big in prisons. <laughs> well, I guess me too, for different reasons, I think. <laughs> Why do you visit prison? <laughs> no, not anymore. Been in prison? Not since I stopped drinking the Jackie oh. Collins. <laughs> <laughs> no, um, yeah. why are you so big? I guess because they, they like a story. They like a story, and you know they've got nothing else to do. Well, so. there is that the whole prison idea, isn't you it? Never know. It's what a big long do. time out. Yes, yeah. but they all write to me and complain. They go, you know, I went to get your book from the prison library, and they're all they don't have them. Everybody's borrowing them all the time, and then they come back in bad condition. <laughs> but, I don't know what that means. Although maybe I do, yes. Well, I know. Uh, a lot of things come back in bad condition. So that's why you know. Uh, <laughs> anyway, we're out, we're out of time. We're out of time. Yeah, yeah. You're yeah. not going to analyze me with your pipe? You have a big pipe. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I told you, big pipe. Yes. This is not a pipe. You're welcome, students of Magritte. <laughs> There's about five people in America who went, oh. Yeah. <laughs> So, uh, yes. okay, are you in analysis? No, 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 I'm, I'm, I'm English, we don't do that. Do you do that? Oh, yes. Oh, you do? Oh, yes. So what would Once be a, week. a normal, how would you start off the conversation? Oh, you wouldn't believe the week I've had. No, yep. well, I, how I start it off is, <laughs> it's a great day for America. Uh, <laughs> a great day for yeah. America, yes. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. You gotta go, Jackie. Okay, baby. Jackie Collins, everybody. Thank you. <laughs>show that one people are like oh the cat got squashed by a great big giant thing it, it's a photograph of a cat <laughs> it's a photograph of a big giant thing falling on a cat right, and then we right. still had to add the cat coming out so that people wouldn't go oh <laughs> anyway jeff i am prepared to lend you my jackie collins book oh great thank you i would like it to come back in decent condition this time <laughs> I, I promise you I will not do anything to this book to soil it in any way. <laughs> Could I I'm reassured. <laughs> Could I read a little bit from the book, maybe? Is there a... Oh, right now? Yeah, sure. Okay, go. Sure. He was a dashing, skeletal, part man, part robot with a shiny metal... <laughs>